G'day Leo, welcome back to TJ Tarot Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as that now. Let's go. Give me three cards to start with. So who's thinking about loving Leo right now? So this is a general reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements. Or you can check out my playlists and see if something resonates for you there. Mm. Okay. Took their time, but nothing too bad. Giant deck, which is really hard to shuffle. Clarify card one in row one, please. <laughs> Cross watches, this could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's. So please do keep that in mind. As you may not be the only one interested in Leo right now. Clarify card two, please. All the decks are pre-shuffled and are listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them in case you're interested in what these decks are. Clarify card three, please. And I'd like to get all the cards out first before I begin the reading. So bear with me. We are halfway there. <laughs> Three more for the love energy coming towards Leo, please. Okay. One, two. Oh, okay. And we got the third one. And another deck that's giant. It's give me a workout this week. <laughs> Clarify card one in row two, please. Well, so I hope you're all doing well, taking care of yourselves, having a good day, a good week, and a good weekend, wherever you are and whenever you're watching this. Clarify card two in row two, please. And don't forget to do something nice for yourself, Leo, because you deserve it. Yes, you do. And clarify card three in row two, please. And then we can begin. No, not quite. No, still not quite. There we go. Whoa, okay. Oh. All right. Done. Let's begin. Oh, I'm going to be sore tomorrow. All right. <laughs> Wrists are going to be sore. <laughs> Let's begin. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Mmm. Do they want to retreat with you? Or are they retreating from you? Hmm. Feeling a bit of the nerves, maybe? Ooh, Seven of Pentacles. And the Ten of Cups. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. They're, mm, they're retreating from investing in this anymore. And from this being long-term love, or are they, do they want to retreat with you to invest more in this, to have long-term love with you? I sort of feel that they're retreating from investing in into this anymore. Yeah, investing in this being long-term love anymore. Mm, I could be wrong, but mm, I'm sort of feeling that they're backing off from putting more effort into this, is what I'm feeling. I'm sorry. Let's keep going. I could get egg in my face, <coughs> but that's what I'm feeling. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Hmm. This could just... Hmm. Okay. I've got the three of cups. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. I forgot to take a sip of drink. Four of wands. And the five... Mm, five of pentacles, see? Oh. 
I felt that. Yeah, once this holiday time is over, they're going to leave this out in the cold. Because <coughs> they're willing to celebrate the holidays to get with you. And have some sort of stable passion with you over this holiday season. But then they're leaving it out in the cold. Mm. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, it's a temporary... I'm sorry, Leo. I'm sorry. Yeah, once the holidays are over, um, I'll be gone. I'll sing my song and I'll be gone. That's what I'm hearing, that song. What is it? Loving isn't easy. Uh, I can't remember who sings it. It's got the harmony kind of in it. Nothing easy, and easy to come by. Yeah, I'm hearing that I'll be gone. Mm, I'll sing my song and I'll be gone. <sighs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Hmm. We've got the world card. Yeah, I think they've lost positivity here. And the three of pentacles. Yeah, I think they're not optimistic anymore. That's closed out. The optimism of this getting... Becoming something. So that's why they're not going to work on this anymore with you. Closing out the cycle of working on this because, yeah, I feel that their optimism, perhaps they're optimistic about something else. Optimistic that something else will work out. I mean, that's the ending, but it's a new beginning, working on something new, maybe. Hmm. But I feel that just the optimism of this getting better is just... Yeah, they've closed that out. They, yeah, they don't think it's going to work anymore. <sighs> it's really been a mixed bag this week. Some really good ones and some really bad ones. Anyway, well, not real bad, but yeah, oh, this is this has probably been the saddest one so far. Uh, last quarter moon in Capricorn. Leave the past behind. See, I told you they're leaving. Oh. Yeah, balance. Which is temperance. Is it? Yeah, temperance. Yeah. The nine of fire. The page of air. And the seven of water. Yeah, see, the, spying on other options. They're looking for other options here. Looking at other options. <sighs> Getting defensive like that. I feel like the, after the nine is the ten, and the ten is just a burden. The nine is the wounded warrior. I feel they're getting exhausted here. Trying to just keep this balanced. Okay, so we've got balance. Um, the need for balance and moderation. Yeah. Cooperation and compromise. Wait for perfect timing. And that's exactly what they're doing. They're trying to just keep this balanced and moderate. And yeah. Because they're waiting for the right time to leave. Yeah, I'm sorry. Leave the past behind. Nine of fire. Don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. See, this is about them. Because I feel that they don't feel this is going to be the relationship for them. 
So they're trying to protect themselves. I suppose having the courage to leave, believing in themselves, knowing they have to... Okay, it's a bit sad. And I don't think, they do it with a heavy heart too. They're not being, you know, malicious or callous about it. They're um, very regretful of the fact that they've just fallen out of love with you. And they don't see this moving forward. And they don't want to hang around and drag this out until you start fighting and, you know, or they just resent the connection to just, yeah, are going to leave. So, page of air, logical, yeah, they're being logical here, honest, yeah, impulsive and curious, challenging information, yeah, delays or changes to plans, yeah, truth delivered without tact. But I think they are going to be quite tactful. I don't think they're going to be quite so harsh here. And Seven of Water, a complex decision it is. A need to do research, stop procrastinating. Um, I think they've been looking into this for quite a while. It, it isn't an easy decision. It's been a very complex decision for them. But, you know, they've got to do what's right for themselves here. And yeah, they're just waiting for the right time. And they don't feel that leaving you before the holiday time is a good idea. They don't think that would be nice. To leave you right before Christmas, like, you know, that's, yeah. Yeah. So, unfortunately, yeah, they, they're going to hang around till after, yeah. Uh, but now you've seen this reading, you know, it's not going to feel right, is it? No, it's not. Okay, full moon in Gemini, embrace the flow of life. Yeah, I could hear them saying it's it's just life. What can you do? Like, if you're just not feeling it, you're not feeling it. Two of fire and unity, which is the Hierophant, which is interesting. So two of fire, you've come to your... You've come into your own new partnerships or contracts. Continue to move forward. Yeah, they're going to continue to move forward here. And unity, which is traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organizations, seek out mentors and like-minded friends. Which is interesting because I don't... I don't see them having, and you know, and this is reminding me too that I think they're just going to go and spend time with friends. I don't see, I don't see they have someone else on the side or, you know, they're going off to be with somebody else. I don't see that here. They just know it's time to move forward here. And possibly going to seek out mentors and like-minded friends for a bit of support here and just to clear their energy. I'm actually hearing that um, air supply sung, I'm all out of love. But and I'm only hearing some of it. It's like, I'm all out of love. And then I'm hearing, believing it was so wrong. Yeah, like, as in believing that this, you know, having you believe that this could be more is so wrong. Because they're all out of love. Oh, I don't like this. I feel yuck. Uh, full moon in Capricorn, take a reality check. Oh, dear. Oh, I don't like that. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, four of water. Yeah. Nine of water. 
emotions here. Ace of Air, and there's the truth. And the Eight of Water, the walking away here. Yeah, the truth is they're walking away. That's for their own emotional fulfillment. Yeah, because they're not feeling emotionally fulfilled. So they're going to walk away to find that. That's why, you know, that. Yeah, they've, they've taken a reality check here. And what they can offer is not the wish fulfillment. It's not the emotional fulfillment here. The truth is that they know that, you know, looking at the truth for their own emotional stability, they need to walk away. So, again, four of water. Missing an opportunity, discontent or boredom. Open your eyes to the possibilities. So I just think there's discontentment. They know that it doesn't feel right. Nine of water. Your wish comes true. Concerns fade away. A love of life. <sighs> See, I think they just weren't feeling... Just, you know, you can't help what people feel. It's nothing against you, Leo. It just isn't the right person for you. And they're trying, you know, they know rather than staying and making it more painful, that it's time to just move on. So Ace of Air, brilliant new ideas and inspirations, seeing the truth of a situation, a challenging beginning. Yeah, so they see the truth of the situation here. And Eight of Water, a desire to move on. Yeah, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. And like I said, it's nothing to do with you. It just wasn't, isn't, it just isn't your person. That's all it is. It's, it's, they're just not the one for you. And that's okay. Because the wrong one leaves, it opens the door and the opportunity for the right one to enter. The right one can't enter if you're with the wrong one. Oh, big hugs, Leo, big hugs. Mm. All right, let's see. I regret what I did to you, yeah. They, they have total regret for this. Like, they don't want to hurt you and they, you know, they feel bad about what they're doing, but... They know they have to do it because it's not fair on you. It's not fair on them and it's not fair on you. So, all right, what does this energy want to say to Leo, please? Mm, dear. Ooh. Please contact me. But they're telling, they're pointing out it's in the reverse. Hmm. Which is sort of like they want to reach out and tell you this, talk to you about this. But then they're pointing out that it was, it landed reverse. And normally they don't say anything. So it's almost like they're saying, yeah, it should be reversed. I think once they leave, you probably won't hear from them again. Because they don't want, yeah, they don't want to cause you more heartbreak and pain. They don't want to hurt you. I don't know how you feel about this, but it's making, they feel terrible about this. They feel terrible about it. I'm just feeling, ugh. Like when you got to go and give someone bad news and it's like, oh. I'm... And you feel for the other person because, you know. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling here. Aww. Aww. Well, yeah. But, mm, I 
I don't know about this hanging around till Christmas thing. Well, I suppose, you know, giving you some happiness of... Because I don't feel like you're fighting. I don't think there's any negative energy between you two. I just think, I just keep hearing I'm all out of love. Um, they're just not feeling it anymore. It's like... They're not optimistic about this going anywhere. They're not, just not, I am just keep hearing they're just not feeling it. <coughs> but, yeah. Mm. Well. And they don't want to upset you before Christmas, so, yeah. Um, I don't know. I think they should just be honest and get this over and done with now so you can heal before Christmas and before the new year and start the new year fresh and have this time to heal now so Crosswatcher if this is you who's got to do this with Leo I know because Christmas can be you know the new years can be like well you're going to miss the person because you're not celebrating with them but what are you going to fake it through that and then just disappear after the New Year's? Like, oh, I don't know. I don't know which which is better. I don't know which is better. But if you're a Leo watching this, it's, you know, you're just going to be waiting for the shoe to drop, aren't you? Mm. Oh, dear. Alright, well that's your reading, Leo. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a nice comment below, that would be awesome. And thank you, oh, thank you so much for watching and sending you all my love. Like, yeah, this is a tough one. Because it's, it's not for any reason that it ends. It's just, it just, it's already ended, pretty much. Ah. Alright, well, all the best. Take care. Good luck, and I'll catch you later.